There are at least three things you need to consider when starting scuba diving training or continuing your training. Today, we're going to talk about them. Coming up next. Okay, hey everybody, my name is Chris. This is Just Keep Scuba Diving, Scuba Diving on a Budget, where I try to help you learn how to scuba dive, scuba dive, go diving, vacations, everything, and still stay within that budget that way we can dive and enjoy some beach time at the same time. Today, we're talking about something important. So before we jump into this, I want you to hit the like, hit the subscribe button, and please leave a comment below if you think that there are some more than three things. I This is my personal opinion. Thing number one, location. May not be able to control this. You may be in Missouri somewhere and you only have the option of one dive center. Which brings me to thing 1.5. School of course. Now, before everybody gets all wild and crazy and everything about what I'm about to say, I'm going to say this right now out loud. This is my opinion. You don't like it, I'm sorry, but here we go. It doesn't matter what school or course. Again, one, location. You may have only the option of one training facility. Nawi, PADI, SSI, SDI. You, know, you may not have the option of multiple facilities like I do here in Atlanta. So I can choose my own shop. You may only have one shop in your area, which brings us to location. You may choose to go to a beach to be PADI certified, whereas your closest location would be SSI certification. Does, if you certified at the SSI, and you go to the paddy location, are they going to prevent you from diving? No, they're going to allow you to dive. You're, as long as you got that card saying that you're an open water certified diver, you're going to allow you to dive. So location may not be something that you control and or the course may not be something you control. I'm kind of putting those two together. Um, there are... I love paddy. Paddy is my, my training of choice. There are two... The, the, the shop that I go to is an SSI shop, Dive Shop in Marietta, but the shop that I get trained from is a paddy shop, Emerald Coast Scuba. There are things, now, can you go from one course to the other? Absolutely. You want to change a course? And we're going to do a video about that later. Absolutely you can. Yeah, you don't have to be just one, but that's a whole different video in itself. So, now, one, location. Thing number two finances you may go to one shop and you just can't afford it now the whole of the video we did about finances and money and why is scuba diving expensive link here okay that video will tell you why because we're going someplace that you're not supposed to live with you're not supposed to go to 15 feet of down 15 feet in the pool and survive you're supposed to go down there and come back up within one breath. So, that being your own personal, or that's that's your own finances, excuse me. So that would be the, the reason for finances. Um, talk to the shop. The shop may offer some kind of program where, because there are things that they can work out. They can work out stuff most of the time, not every shop, not every shop will do this, but most of the time they can work something out to where you have to pay the PADI course, you have to pay the SSI course, whatever part of that course, that part of the course, you've got to pay. But your dive master training, your school, the, the, the pool time, all that stuff might be negotiable to a point in your area that you can afford it. If it's not, save up, get it done, get diving. Those of you recertifying, you know how to look, you know where to look for. Go to place. And the other thing may is you may, you may be able to tie in, like at Rainbow Reef, you may be able to tie in some scuba diving and training at the same time. Who'd have thought? Rainbow Reef's got a great training program down there. Now, that being said, let's go to thing number three. Most important thing in this whole category. Your personal safety. The way you feel when you go into these shops. The way you feel when you, you decide 
do you want to put money down to start that course the way you feel? There are some very well reputable dive shops out there. The three I mentioned are very good dive shops. I love all three of them. And I would train with all my, my personal preference is to train with Emerald Coast Scuba. The reason the reasons are my own personal ones, and that I, I would could not ever not recommend training there. They make me feel like family. Now, that being said, they're not gonna let me go out in the water and do something stupid. Okay? You may have a friend. And that friend is a scuba diving instructor and he takes you out and instructs you and you're going in the pool and you haven't got some skill quite right. And would you like him to say, you know, buddy, I'll work on this with you out in the water. No, you don't because you don't know what's going to happen out in the water. You can't control currents. You can't control conditions. You can't control. You want to be able to come out of that pool knowing things. We don't train for what happens on a good day. We train for what happens on a bad day. Okay, whenever the crap hits the fan, that's what we're tr our training is for. Now, when you walk into a shop and they kind of shrug you off and you don't feel comfortable, again, this person, the people that you're going to do this with, they're, you are placing your life in their hands. So if you don't feel comfortable, those hairs on the back of your neck stand up. Just something doesn't feel right. As we say in diving, if it's not right, don't do it. You're not going to be pressured. You are not pressured into doing this. Okay? Go. Do it as a tour. Do it as a cruise. If you're doing a cruise, do a, do a little three-day little hop along. See if you like it. Then find some place in your area. If you can't find some place, you do what I do. I'm in Atlanta. I'll drive down to Destin. I mean, that's what Tammy and I did. We drove down to Destin three weekends in a row asking questions, and we finally picked the shop we wanted. We did a dive shop here in Atlanta, did our paperwork and, and our indoor play, uh, stuff, and then went down to Destin, and we've been doing Destin ever since. Our online courses, everything. Um, but those are the three. Those, those are the three things that are the most important three things in this decision process. One, you may not have a control of that. You may not have control over the Patty, the Nowie, the SSI, because there's only one shop in your area. You want to drive, you know, and it may be beneficial. I thought about this. It may be beneficial for you to drive to a bigger area, spend the weekend, get your pool work done, and then go do certifications because the dive shop that you dive at may have some place, such as Rainbow Reef, they may be contracted with, or they can send the paperwork to and say, hey, look, can you finish the open water portion of this program? Now, for those of you that are recertifying, if you move somewhere, you may be stuck with one location. And then that location may or may not be the, the company you were with. Can you go diving? Well, we're going to talk about that in another video too. Can you train, cross train in there? We'll talk about that in another video. Um, but those are the three things, really, truly, that I believe, me, believe, location, 0.5, 1.5 is uh, courses. You may not have an option in that one. And then price, okay, price. You may not have an option in that on the price, but maybe you can work something out. And then, of course, your safety. Hey, look, those are the three things that I think that we should think about when considering scuba diving training or recertifications. Got any others? Please hit the like. Hit the, or please comment below. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe button. I hope you guys are having a good day, good week. I want to see you on the boats. December, Destin, or excuse me, May, Destin, Memorial Weekend. July, 18th through the 25th, Amore Dive Resort, Key Largo. Destin, October, first weekend of October. I see you, come on. And Cozumel, sometime next year, January, February of next year. Just keep scuba diving, guys. Scuba diving on a budget.